Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot going to the UK sun. They say rats creepy. Scientists are implanting tiny human brains into rats. I've got a big rub against this, folks. Here again is another example of human experimentation of uh, by creating these chimeras. That's what we're doing. Now we're making mice with human brains. It says here, tiny human brains injected into rats have sparked a major ethical debate, and I would hope so. Among scientists worry it may give the rodents some type of human consciousness. Esteemed science ethicists claim that experiments might reach a point where the test lab rats will be entitled to some kind of respect. Let me stop there. Remember, all mythology, even fairy tales, are often rooted in some sort of truth. And you can see stories of old of much more intelligent creatures that walk this planet. So talking animals, talking mice. This has happened before. We're doing the same thing again. And I would hope that science would be a little more respectful of these lines, these barriers, and also the reckless nature and in, in the and how they test um, and make experiments out of life. Because, you know, one thing I'll tell you that I really admire about Native Americans about people that choose to live in harmony with their environment is the respect that they give other life. And I mean everything. The respect they, they, they give to the environment, what they use, they give back. The respect they give to animals that they have to kill to eat to survive. How they use everything. They leave nothing to waste and they honor that animal. And it just shows a respect. And if you look at how they live, they don't ever go and cross those boundaries. This would be just absolutely out of bounds for anybody that has any sort of respect for creation, for where we live and what we do. It's, it's unbelievable. And I know a lot of people say, well, we wouldn't have many of the, the medicines and the, the technology if we didn't test them on, ma on, on, on mice and it's just a mouse. I get it. It's just a mouse. And then it takes it to the next level, right? But it's, let's just say, just a bunny, right? And then they start doing human trials like they did in a lot of the eugenics experimentations at the beginning of the 20th century when they said, oh, you know, they, it's a, they just have Down syndrome. They're just retarded. They're slow. It doesn't matter. They don't matter. And it goes on and on and on like stepping stones up the stairs to the next level. And the ethicists are absolutely right. What is... Or when is it acceptable? Where is the line? And what? Do, what? how do we define it? It has to be defined at some point in time. Otherwise, we're going to destroy ourselves. It says advances in science have allowed experts to connect tiny human brains with that of a rat. To do this, they create clumps of cells, it says, that behave similar to human brains called organoids. Several labs have inserted these organoids into rat brains connected them to blood vessels, and successfully grown physical links. Now, the medical magazine Stat reported that when scientists shone a light into a rat's eye or stimulated the brain regions involved in vision, that the neurons in the implanted organoid fired up. And it said that that suggested that human tissue had become functionally integrated with the rat, a la Chimera. Now, just because it doesn't look like a hybrid human rat, because you can't see it on the outside, doesn't mean that it's not. Now, scientists hope they will 
this will help understand how the brain reacts to injuries, how you treat brain disease or brain uh, illness. But experts warn the more human brain that they implant into rats, the more human-like they'll become. So where's the line? Again, this is the question we have to ask ourselves because we are facing some serious lines these days. For example, they found out that dementia, dementia is the number one killer over in the UK right now. It's surpassed heart disease, which again is no surprise to me considering the environment that we're in, how we radiate ourselves, we get sprayed on through uh, chemtrailing, what they say geoengineering and other experimentations, or radiated by harp. Like I say, you can deny it all you want, but the truth is the truth no matter how you slice it. Through vaccinations, all of these things have contributed to this explosion in Alzheimer's, dementia, brain illness, It's just amazing how in order to find a solution to that problem that they have to go through all of this and come up with some sort of scheme to be able to do it when in fact we already know what the solution is. Stop killing ourselves. Stop radiating ourselves. Stop spraying ourselves. Let's grapple with problems. If if there's a problem with the earth, If there's a problem with our environment, if something catastrophic is coming down the pipe, tell us the truth and let's face it together. I don't know what's so hard about that. But instead, what happens is the control freaks think that they know what's best for you. And so they go and embark upon these adventures, if you will, without your consent. And it's wrong. We are all sovereign individuals. And we all have a say in this, whether they like it or not. That's why it's so important, folks, that when you see this kind of stuff, that you speak out about it because a line has to be drawn. You know, when we start creating chimeras and then they end up rats with free will, what do you do then? You know, these are questions that we have to face and face now. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.